Other Zelda's love. Sir. Got, gotta show gotta show the love, bro. But anyway, showing the love here. Okay, Forza on going Falco. So Jamin uh, informed us before uh, earlier on today that that Forza on has gone all Falco so far. Uh, that has not changed, it seems. It's not just one of those things that you do in pools to flex on your opponent because they're worse than you. It's like he he he's staying. He's staying with the with the Falco here. Yeah, Actually, wait, no, he did uh, He did go one game of Shulk against Big Fred, so that's interesting to know. But anyway. I was thinking of the Falcon most of the day, and it got him to um, top 24 winner side. But right now, we do have Jesse with a slight lead. But um, a relatively slow start to this game so far. We see the All combo right, yeah. start up now. All right, and now still, you know, obviously Fal Falco's thing in this game is his very solid combo game and, you know, just the pressure that he can apply. He also has pretty good edge guarding, uh, but he, his approaching isn't as great. He has side B that was recently uh, buffed and added, which is super sick for him. But like, other than that, he just kind of has to run at you with aerials. <laughs> so it's, it's tough. You can approach decently with laser, but... All right, so, and obviously Yink and Jaisi, as an extension, uh, is a player who wants to keep you away from him. So I think that it's going to be difficult for Forzadon to get in here, and that when he does get in, if he does get in, he needs to get a lot out of it, because Jaisi is just prepared to, as we've seen so far, throw these boomerangs, throw these bombs, and just keep Forzadon away from him. And even though Kako does have a reflector in his shine, it's probably one of the worst sec probably second worst reflector in the game but we do have Forza Dawn getting the first kill of this mm -hmm. game well honestly I don't know I think I think it's pretty good whenever I play against Falcos with uh with Link it's always difficult for me because it's just so big <laughs> you know like like just like it's a slow move and it's awkward to throw out but just and it doesn't linger like other reflectors but just looking at how big it is like oh it's it, it's a big boy man it's big it big and it goes out so it can like interrupt the startup of some projectiles but like it not being on him is rough definitely there but now even stocks two to two uh actually force it on with a slight lead here and there it is you know he used that reflector like you kind of called out and he's actually been using it a decent amount so far uh i think falcos are actually use their counter a lot or their reflector a lot in zoner matchups because like they try and like turn the tide on the zoners almost. Like they try to outzone the zoners because Falco's uh, reflector is just so big that it can just kind of cover all the space that his owner wants to throw their projectiles in. It's kind of crazy if you think about it. Yeah, so the zoners with like that don't have the great get off me tool. The shine does get a lot of use in those matchups. Oh man! Oh, oh right. he hey. saves him. Oh no, he didn't. Oh yes, he did save him. I, I thought he didn't save him for a sec, but he did. Yeah. And that, that with where there were, for the didn't do much but save him, but still pretty unfortunate. But you don't want that to happen. Definitely, definitely big agree on that one. All right, but there it is, the bomb fair, the classic tune link combo is going to make the stocks in the favor of Jaisi, and now Jaisi has the lead. So. Now that now I think now that Jaisi has the lead, they have even less incentive to be close to Forza Dawn. But I don't know if that's going to matter as much because we know that that both players, um, like obviously that's what Jaisi was doing the first stock, but Forza still took it. So we'll have to see here because the the because actually Jaisi is keeping this pretty close to his chest still, staying in Forza Dawn's face. But now actually opting for more projectiles and he's racking up more and more percent as a result. 83 already onto Forza Dawn. Obviously nothing Falco can't make back with a really good combo, but Forza needs this kill, man. Yeah, I'm getting caught by Jerry Suck. Not able to find the up air off this um oh Phantasm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Phanta Phantasm. Is that what it's I called? I had to call it illusion. I thought it was called illusion. Is it Fox not? Illusion. Fox Fox Fox. Ah, okay. gotcha. Also, that was I... a mix from Forza Dawn. That was sick. Sorry, I don't know why they have different names, but I just know Fox is a reason. But the hero spin will get 
JIC game one over for Zidane. There it is. Yeah, no, that's going to take it. And through the end of that, we like we called out before, Falco can make this back with a pretty big combo, but that's just that's just not what happened there, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, for Zidane, never able to find the right starter for the combo and not able to get really the pressure or damage going. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Well, I think, uh, I think for Zidane, I think he did most things right there, but on that second stock, when he was behind, he kind of opted for some weird options. He didn't really throw out kill moves as much. He was just kind of jumping and then down airing, and that's just kind of it. Like, he wasn't really going for many kill options. Obviously, we saw that he got that crazy smix with the down tilt, but... Other than that, like he, I, I think he just wasn't swinging as much, and that's why that game went the way that it did. Looks like we're gonna hop right back into it. Yeah, no, I, I agree with this. I agree with this. You know, PS2 makes the best games, and pretty even stage. Obviously, Falco get well. Falco gets good things off this stage. Uh, Tank gets good things off this stage. So I think, uh, I think it's gonna be pretty good here for both competitors. Let's see what uh, what Forza can do. Because I imagine that like the tri are banned, which is probably the spot that Falco would want to go to ideally in this matchup, because uh, it gives him more spots to approach the different bombs and obviously up tilt combos. But you know, if you don't have that, then this is the next best spot. All right, all ready for sense just climbing on. Yeah, percent climbing on, and Forza just sort of getting caught on all his attempts to get in. Getting caught, and Jaisi getting away. Yeah, and it feels like Forza is just kind of like, not really doing much, if that makes any sense. Like, he's kind of just, um, like, like how do you say it? He's just kind of, uh, how do I say this? He's like... Like, like Jaisi is, like, Forza is just kind of standing still sometimes, and then just jumping. Obviously, standing still is a very solid option, but Forza is not really picking the follow-up options that would work for it. He's just kind of not doing much. Seems like his game plan feels a bit more, re a lot more reckless than, than it does before. Or not reckless, but, like, un unsure, I want to say. Yeah, he was able to build up some percentage, but still behind, because he's sitting at 140, and he's going to get caught by the up in here and die. Yeah. Well, that forward, is that fair, going to send him off. This could be a good spot. The Nair catching him, that's that's a dead sink, everybody. Even stocks, even game. Game two. Get st two stocks, and game two. Two kill moves. 2-2-2, 22-22. That's the number for Domino's, I'm pretty sure. But anyway, it seems that neither player really has each other's number right now. Although, Jaisi trying to make a case for it. These percentages and these extensions that he's getting kind of piling on a bit. And just still, the extensions from for, from him now going back to a more defensive style. And Forza Don going for a lot more hard reads, trying to catch the jump. Getting hit by that dash attack too. Percentage is kind of being rough for him. Yeah, and like, where's the Don sort of just been running at him or jumping at him and not getting much started? So we'll see if that grab leads to much. Not too much. Yeah, not too much, honestly. But does have a game with him a lot more even, especially with that dare add on at the end. Oh, and the double laser, that was pretty cool. Wasn't able to net anything off of it except for little percent, but still, Forza, bit of a disadvantage still percent wise, he is in the event, but that does not matter if you're dead. <laughs> I believe that was a bomb to fair, killing him, taking his life out there, unfortunately for him. Another bomb to fair found. And I'm surprised that you don't see Jai see kind of go off stage, because, like, that's another weak point on. Falco is the recovery, not yeah. too much to mix it up. But we have Jaisi dying right there, perfectly even game on this game too. 
Yeah, no, I mean this is this is a lot better. This this is uh this is like what you would have expected if Forza was able to get the kills first. Just really even games, you know? Because Falco doesn't have the best options to approach, but if he's able to net the kill first, it doesn't matter because then he doesn't have to. So, so Forzadon knows this, so he's been keeping it close, but, you know, this is kind of the tale of what we've seen early on in the set, in the set so far, both, both in both games, actually, where Forza, I guess, had a lot of percent piled on him, but then he was able to slowly plot back a bit more percent this time around, but, okay, Forza answering back now, already getting 61, this could be the extension he needs, but no, Jaisi's able to back off. And yeah, able to get landed, and now putting the pressure on Forza. Here, but there it is the dare not able to follow up with that nair and the percents are looking pretty close right now Oh, and the schmix again from Forza. He was looking for something there But Jaisi smart rolls away realizes Forza cannot cover that option nor would he and then jump not able to get any defensive option Jaisi is playing so carefully right now all these defensive options are so intelligently picked He knows this could be the turning point of the set and he doesn't want it to happen to him Yeah and right now, both are sort of putting each other in kill percent. Just about who was able to find the solid hit. Too early for down to the kill. Oh, did he do the gimmer to get out of that, man? He might have gimmered him, because that up air should have hit, but that back throw will. And Jicey, his patience pays off. He beats Forzadon 2-0 and advances into winner's top 8. What an upset.